I feel weird right now. I feel really weird. What is going on? I feel like I've not picked up my camera in so long now. This vlog was already exported, like all ready to go up. And I just had to literally come on here and quickly do an intro because I just can't bring you guys this vlog and not say hi, I'm alive, like don't worry, I've not just like completely fallen off the face of the earth and disappeared and decided I'm not doing YouTube anymore, like don't worry, I am coming back. At the very end of this video, I touch on a little bit of like how I've been feeling recently, a little bit of what I've been going, well no, I didn't actually touch on anything, I've just been saying how I've been feeling, but when, when I tell you we're going to have a really good catch up soon, like I promise you, like I am coming back to my channel ASAP. I miss you guys so much. I even like picking up the camera now feels weird. It's been that long. I've not vlogged. I've not picked up my camera since New York, which was like a good few weeks ago now, but I had this whole vlog edited and ready to go up. So I feel like it's just stupid to waste it. I'm sure there's a few of you out there that just need a video to whack on in the background whilst you do something in your house or like just something to watch in the background. I always need something like that. So I'm going to pop it up anyway for you all. I'm excited to be back on my channel and be back present with you guys. And for now, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye. Welcome everyone to this New York vlog, which I'm very excited about, but right now the only emotion I feel is exhaustion. Um, how do I even begin to explain how this trip has begun? And do you know what? It's a shame because it was actually going so incredibly smoothly. The flight, a little bit of turbulence to be fair. No, do you know what? We've had actually a really great day today. Just a little bit of a couple of hip hiccups this <laughs> evening, you could say. Um, but now we are settled into our hotel. I don't think this is going to be the room that we remain in. It's a long story. Basically, we arrived to our first hotel, uh, which is a hotel I've stayed at before, but in a different country. And when we arrived, we got into our rooms and I would say the rooms were made for Stu a little. <laughs> Do you reckon that's how you describe them? Maybe yeah. they were, they were really lovely rooms, but we're yeah, here for a full week and obviously we have bought between us about eight suitcases and there was literally zero space to put any of our stuff and like our bodies alone barely fitted in the room let alone all of our cases yeah we basically had to move hotels just because they didn't have any other rooms for us in that hotel that was any bigger um and genuinely like it was just because we couldn't fit our things in there like, we weren't being dramatic the hotel was beautiful it was it was really really lovely but we just needed a bit more space for a full week in new york so we have now arrived at the second hotel and i'm having deja vu because i feel like this evening's been paris. like paris yeah and anyone that was here for that paris honestly that was Probably one of my favourite vloggers of my entire life. But anyway, we've got a full day shooting my PLT campaign tomorrow, which I'm really, really excited about. But a little bit nervous because obviously tonight has been a bit of a later night than we anticipated and it's been a bit hectic. So the shoot prep, the fake tan, the shaving, full body shave was needed. Um, it's all been a little bit rushed this evening. But listen, we're here now and I'm feeling so excited and blessed to be in New York. I'll show you the room set up in just a second, but really cracked me up earlier because Fran was on the phone to the receptionist and she was making notes with the pen that the room provided, which is a quill. Are we in Harry Potter or what? Like this has really made my night. Fran was writing with a feather, a quill. So here is our room. We have two double beds in this room. It's the Baccarat Hotel, which is very snazzy. Um, and here is me. I've just put some filter on. Um, I put extra dark on, but I just put one layer on just because I've actually already got quite a deep natural tan. So I just thought one layer of natural dark, um, of extra dark, sorry, will just enhance it a little bit. Here is the setup. I think this will just be for this evening. I don't think we're gonna be here. Even though the room is spacious, like I can't explain to you how many cases we have. Like, I, in fact, let me just show you. So that's one case, two case, three cases, four cases, <laughs> five cases, six cases seven cases eight cases so yes tomorrow the shoot commences i'm so excited we've got two full days shooting my next plt campaign i'm literally so excited about the clothes in this one are just insane and i'm so exci excited <laughs> i'm so excited i'm so excited to be shooting in new york and i'm excited to be bringing you guys along with me too so i'll catch up with you all in the morning night Good morning guys. So as you can see, glam is done. Basically, I realised today that a lot of hair appliances from the UK, they don't actually really work in America. I think it's to do with like the voltage and um, 
I don't know, they just don't really work on the American plug. So Jack, we'd washed my hair, we were ready to style it, and then Jack plugged in the hairdryer, and a huff came out. It was literally like, huh, like that was as much as we got from the hairdryer. Like it was not functioning for us. So we were, I was sat there with soaking wet hair. We had an hour to be ready for our call time. I was like, right now, what do we do? Um, so Jack has managed to basically blow dry my hair, it's just setting at the minute, but he's managed to blow dry it with the hotel hair dryer, which is serious talent. We've got a Winnie Vago today, which is one of those big trailers, which I'm really happy about, because it means we get to like set up properly, get comfortable, we can like get good snacks, and like just set ourselves up for the day. Here's the remnants of my breakfast. I had about eight pieces of toast and a fruit platter, and I've got my Stanley cup full of some nice iced lemon water, and we're good to go. Normally I don't really, um, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily, this is a, I wouldn't say this is a nice outfit whatsoever, but normally I literally go down to my shoots in basically pyjamas or a dressing gown. But um, I just shoved a pair of jeans on today in a little vest top. For now, let's head downstairs and start this PRT campaign. I'm so excited. I'm nervous as always, but really excited. <laughs> Refresh, even though it doesn't really need refreshing, I don't think. Really it's done a pretty flawless either. job. Can I talk about this? Absolutely. So, Holly has used a new foundation on me today, guys, and it's the Lady Gaga brand one. It's called House Labs. Um, and you know what? It's going straight in my basket because it's great. I thought it was a full coverage, but Holly says it's medium. Um, what concealer did you put on with it? Mario. Ah, this was the concealer that she used. The um, Makeup by Mario's brand. The shade I wear in this foundation that Holly puts on me is light, medium, cool, for anyone that wants to know. And in this, it's shade 200. Basically, Jack got a tattoo yesterday. He's not taken off the... Um... You're not meant to, guys. <laughs> Three days after. <laughs> All right. It's only been two. So why are you taking it off now? Because... It looks yeah, like chewing gum stuck on my arm. We're scared it's going to come off with it. Go. Okay. You've got a more than that. All right. Slower. <laughs> Wait, maybe go now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, can't watch. Oh. It's there. Oh. No, but it's fucked. Stop still. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not like it? Right, go on, you pull on, pull him back. back. Let's stretch it. Really the E is mangled. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sticky, it needs to come off. He's loving it. Oh. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, wow, that's fine. Look at his tail. Do you want to do for his parents? It's okay, Molly. Oh, my God. Oh, you know the mark? No, I'm not going to go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so update for the vlog. We have nearly shot all the outfits and I know I've been pretty rubbish at keeping you guys up to date today, but I don't know why every single time I have a shoot, I think I'm gonna be better than I was the last time at vlogging and I never am because there's literally so much to do in these days and I literally do not stop shooting constantly. Um, so picking up my camera, I just always forget, so I do apologize, but it's gone so well today. I am definitely starting to feel very tired now because technically now, it's like nearly midnight at home, like 11 o'clock midnight at home. So yeah, I get feeling very, very tired, but we've only got one more look to shoot and then we are finito for the day. Okay, I'm trying to show you guys, but it's literally so dark. Also the camera quality looks so good and I'm on my, on my little camera today. But um, this is the John Yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. This looks great. That's the chicken one, right? That's it, that's the chicken one there. Yeah, yeah. Really? Oh, God. 
Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice Thank you. Which is, I think this is the one with chicken. Chicken. Mm. That's chicken. Yeah. God, this looks good, doesn't it? Isn't it? Mm. Yeah. What's on the top of it? Basil. So, guys, <laughs> shoot is done, as you can see. Makeup is off. Hair is not out yet, but that's the next job. And now I'm in Fran and Erin's room and we're having room service. I got, well, we actually all got pasta. It um, looks really good, actually. We were going to go for a little walk and find some food out, but we are literally shattered because right now at home, it's quarter past two in the morning. But yeah, for now, I'm going to eat my pasta, which is unbelievable. absolutely lovely. Yeah. yeah, it's really, really good. Fran did some Pilates on the bed earlier and broke the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Snapped the bed clean in half. Never been Pilates in my life. <laughs> I wish I'd vlogged that. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> she needed to stretch her back out so she was swinging from the four post of bed and the, the beam flung the out. The best part is she'd already done it and then did it again to show you. Um. <laughs> back in my room now by myself. So basically, I was actually originally meant to be sharing with Fran. There's a mosquito in my room, so that's really, really great. This mosquito has been flying around the room and it's a full-on mosquito, but we're... Oh, it's on my finger! Guys, 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 guys. The mosquito was on my finger. The mosquito literally landed on my finger. If I get bitten by a mosquito in this room tonight, especially on my face before the shoot tomorrow, someone's gonna get it. So, and Ellie Belly's the only one in here, so Ellie Belly's gonna get it. Anyway, as I was saying, I was meant to be sharing a room with Fran, but in the end, Fran and Erin are sharing and I'm in my own room just because, I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous, but I wanna vlog, I've got some things I need to film whilst I'm here, and I just thought it might be easier if I have my own space because, as you guys know, don't need to tell you guys for the billionth time, I don't really do well with filming in front of people and I get a little bit embarrassed. You've probably heard of um, Baccarat from it being obviously a Maison France's perfume. Um, it's weird, it's like they've got their own hotel, it's called Back the Baccarat Hotel, which is, oh my sweet God, what is going on there? Why is it doing that? That's such a shame. Okay, well, no, 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 we can't be doing that. Through here is the bedroom. Got Princess Diaries on there. I've just paid $10 for that, so I don't really want to talk about that. There's nothing like having a film on when you're in a hotel room that just makes you feel like at home and makes you feel like not homesick or anything. Not that I feel homesick at the moment, but this is my room. If I do it the other way, it strobes. Um, but it's so beautiful. Got a four poster bed. Fran broke hers in the other room. It was freaking hilarious. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. Never let it fade away. Anyway, guys, me and Ellie Belly are going to head to bed now. And we will catch up in the morning. Night. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day in NYC. The glam is done. The hair is somewhat done. I look literally like Elvis Presley or something right now. I don't even know, I look crazy. So antics this morning. Quite a smooth morning. The fire alarm did go off at um, 6 a.m., which was impeccable scenes. Luckily, I was already awake. Um, but like, so the, the fire alarm was sounding really, really loudly. And then a guy in the tannoy was going, I'm your life-saving officer, and we're investigating a fire. And I thought, oh my God, this is all we need to start the day. Uh, but luckily, it was a false alarm. And yeah, then we started glam. And now we're ready to go look at the fire in the background. How gorgeous. Well, I never actually updated everyone on the tattoo situation. I just felt actually it feels a bit scabby. Really? So, just to show you guys Jack's tattoo. Tattoo reveal, soft launch. Now, Jack, why did you get seven? I like the number. Is it the number? Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah, I like it's, the it's really thin. Yeah. Fine lines. Yeah. Erin really wants to get a tattoo whilst we're out here, and I'm not against it. Do you think I would suit a tattoo? Depends where and what. I want a little bee somewhere. Maybe here. Do you think? Yeah. Oh god, I don't know if that's a bit too visible for me. It's not visible at all though, you never have your arms out. I was thinking maybe like oh, there. I hate that. Really? Erin said that. I, where? Here? Yeah. I hate tattoos on your wrist. Really? Tacky. Sorry. Anyone spoken. who's got one. <laughs> I don't like them. Yeah, but I feel like there. No, it needs to be Do you know what's true? Like because if here. you're just stood there like that with your arms like, out, no, you, you don't see, see it. it. Just there. Well, you can a bit. How much so, did it cost? $200. That's good. Behind the ear, I'd get. Like, a B. Yeah, nice. Jack's bored to death out here. So, all I've asked him to do is basically make me look like how I look at home. But, have you ever had some more compliments for hair on a trip? I don't think so. <laughs> Hello, vlog. How are we all doing? So the update is, we're 
with three outfits in and it's nearly the end of the day. <laughs> so we need to speed up. Um, Updates coming soon. Guys, here is lunch. I've got a chicken Caesar salad, which is very healthy for me. I'm quite proud of myself. It's really good, actually. It's giving Kardashian. Forgive me guys, I have sinned. I've sinned and I'm also on a different camera. I think at this point we should play a game. Who can guess which parts of the vlog are filmed on my little vlogging camera and my bird watching camera because honestly I think it's quite a notable, noticeable difference. Whatever you've seen in, in the vlog up to now has probably been an utter shambles. What is new? I'm very relieved to say that the shoot is done but only because it is intense, it is hard work and when it's done, it is a relief because Obviously, as I've said to you guys so many times before, but when I shoot my PLT campaigns, that was a really quick sentence. And when I shoot my PLT campaigns, obviously it's just me. Um, and there was like 20 full looks to shoot, like full all campaign pictures and videos in. And I am not a model. Like I don't do this full time. Like I don't really know what I'm doing. And also I was working with a new photographer that shot for like the most insane magazines. She shot like the most incredible models. And then she was, I think like, well, the first look that we shot, we started shooting and she was like, do you want to like maybe try and stretch your legs out like and do this and do that? And I was like, oh my God, does she know that I'm like not a model? I don't want her to think that I know what I'm doing because I literally don't. She probably thought, who is this B-Tech girl that thinks she is Naomi Campbell? We have Naomi Campbell's fashion show at the end of this week with PLT, which is actually the main reason why I came out here. Um, we actually just squeezed the shoot in as well um, because I had another edit coming up with PLT and they were like, where do you want to do it? And I was like, New York, we might as well because we're going there already. So let's get it done. So yeah, I'm so pleased with how it all went, but we've got obviously the fashion show at the end of this week. I didn't vlog today just because obviously, like I said, I had two day shoot. It was really full on and hectic and I really struggled to keep you guys updated and show you guys what was going on like I really epically failed with it over the last two days just because like I say it is just me there's so much pressure on me on those two days and trying to multitask and vlog and keep you guys up to date and get all the outfits shot and do my best and work hard for PLT and be on form like it's a lot to remember now we do have a little bit of spare time and it's the evening now I've not vlogged today but um, I'm about to stop my makeup I'm going to go into Fran's room um, I'm going to do my makeup in there get ready and then we're going to this new Japanese restaurant here in NYC tonight and um, with some of the people from PLT some of the team okay I've tried like every spot in this room and it keeps still you can even see the background it's still going a little bit flickery I I've literally no idea why but it's so late and I am so tired um as you can see I didn't take the camera out for dinner and I didn't even like I, I literally picked up the camera to show you guys what I was wearing and then the evening took like a bit of a turn for the worst well I took a turn for the worst and I just like had a bit of a meltdown <laughs> as you do um I just like I tried to make a real effort tonight to look nice and to feel nice and spend a bit of time doing my makeup and like do my hair and stuff and I just still felt I think as women like and I'm sure guys have had this all the time too but like you sometimes just don't feel nice and even when you make an effort and you're like no I want to feel really nice and I'm gonna make an effort and then you still feel rubbish and then Fran and Erin came in and they both looked so stunning like their makeup the hair their outfits and, I was just, and then I just when I saw both of them looking lovely this makes me sound like a really jealous like bad friend but I don't know it made me feel even worse because I was like oh my god you two look so nice and I was just feeling so gross like you know you have those evenings where you just feel really not cute and um then I was on the phone to Tommy and we were talking about Bambi and I was just getting upset and then I feel like it just suddenly everything all at once just came on top of me and I had a bit of a breakdown just before we went out some tears were shed and I had a bit of a moment which is weird because I was literally feeling fine all day I hope it's um I hope the focus is okay. Yeah, I was feeling fine all day. And then I feel like maybe it's just like all everything. I don't know, the jet lag and eating rubbish food. Well, it's obviously eating lovely food, but like not my usual diet. And um, missing Bambi so much and just really try not to think about it too much. And then the minute you do think about it and like have a moment to stop, it's just when it hits you and you really, I, I'm obviously just missing her massively. So yeah, I don't know. I just had a bit of a moment before dinner. So I'm sorry that I didn't vlog, but I just um, had one of those girly moments that I'm sure you all have. Just finished my makeup, spent like extra time doing it, trying to make it look all nice, using all my new products and stuff. And then I obviously had my crying fit and literally cried it all off before I went out. I didn't even touch up. I just put, patted the tears in, patted them in, 
and off we went. I'm gonna head off to bed now and I'll catch up with you all tomorrow morning. Night. Today is a new day. I've definitely got hairy armpits. Um, I am gonna get out of the room in a second. I'm aware the last probably like, I don't even know how long this vlog has probably been in this room um, or Fran's room, but now we are getting out for the day and we are actually gonna go and have a look around the vintage shops this morning. Not that I really ever buy vintage but i know new york is so good for vintage shopping i always see on tiktok people finding like insane finds in the vintage shops so we're going to this place called carbone tonight for dinner which is this really really famous italian restaurant it's so so hard to get a reservation there so i'm so excited they're famous for the vodka pasta little outfit of the day i've actually already changed i've just been getting a little bit of content this morning Got on some blue jeans a black waistcoat this is from zara jeans of pull and bear and then the sliders are hermes i'm just a obsessed with this area of New York. We're in Soho right now. So, thank you so much. So kind of you. Little Fiji. Guys, my hair is so greasy. You could literally fry an egg on it, but I just didn't have the energy to wash it this morning. You can see the grease. Please don't judge. So good. I don't know why I thought it was going to be cold over here. I've packed jumpers, I've packed jeans, I've packed coats, and it's 32 degrees today. 32 degrees we have oh it's like creamy you know it's unreal <gasps> so we have dinner in a bit but Sorry. we are back at the hotel now and oh i'm a bit intrigued by this oh, you got a cookie didn't you a chocolate chip yeah yeah and um, basically everything's been going on about this banana pudding from this place called magnolia bakery and the time has come on this trip for us to try it so is it like a cakey it's custardy cake, banana custard <gasps> You just it sounds right up my street. You go. Good. Okay. Well, I'm doing a taste test for it. Oh, is it cold? Mm -hmm. Here it goes. Oh my god. How good is it? Get the cake there as well. No, that's serious. Mm -hmm. Does it taste like? Awesome. Do you like bananas? You like banana, don't you? It tastes like banana like custard. Or ice custard. Cream. It's like Knickerbocker Glory, but uh, unreal. <laughs> what mm. about that? Oh and my god, skip. it's got blue icing. Look at that. Wow. Erin ordered a slice of chocolate cake. <laughs> she added it to the basket, straight to her basket, <laughs> and it's got blue. It's got like lilac icing on it. Did you know it was going to come with that? Mm -mm. No, I didn't. <laughs> Moans that she can't stand the way she looks. One second. <laughs> orders. Eight pieces of cake the next second. Mm -hmm. This looks maybe a little bit too nutty for me. I don't really like nuts or seeds. And this looks like it's one of the kind of carrot cakes that like, it's just full of nuts and seeds, but I will try. Oh, it's doing that weird focus thing again. Oh no, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. It's really, carrot really good. Cake. Yeah, it's really good. I don't like carrot cake. No, I don't. It's good. It's probably the worst one you could pick up that. No, that's mm -hmm. good. If you like cinnamon, you like carrot cake. Is that my red velvet cookie? Yes, it is. Yeah. This is a red velvet banana pudding cookie. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh. And now it's not. <laughs> 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 now it's nothing. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. So here we have a red velvet banana pudding cookie. This cake is unreal, sorry. Not the one. No. It doesn't taste of anything. No, because the flavours in here are so, like, pungent. But that's not really serving. I'd give the carrot cake a solid 7 out of 10. Banana pudding is a tricky one. I think I'd give it a 7 out of 10 again because the best part was the cake inside it and there wasn't that much cake. It was more cream and banana, I'd say. Um, Ez, what would you give your chocolate cake out of 10? Honestly, I'd... A 10. Give it, give it an 8. Would you? It was really good. Holy moly. Yeah. And my cookie, I'd probably give like a 4, I'll be honest. It wasn't very good. It, maybe even a 3. It wasn't very good, I'll be <laughs> yeah. honest. We're going to chill for a bit, shower, get ready for dinner. Are you guys going to like redo your makeup fully or? Oh, you've got none on? Oh, wow, you're both just so gorgeous. <laughs> thought you had makeup on. Um, I probably will take mine off and go again just because it's gone a bit crease under my eyes. I wanted to do a quick dinner out of the night, but I don't know why it's flickering so much. So annoying. I need to go back to my other camera. Jeans, PLT, my little boots with the square toe, which I absolutely love. They're also PLT. My top is Zara. 
Clutch Bottega and my earrings are Zara. I don't know if I showed you one, you guys these ones earlier, but they're like huge gold buttons. I kind of love them. They're not for everyone for sure, but they're very like, is it 60s? I don't know what era they're from, but very casual fit for dinner tonight. And we're probably going to one of the most fanciest places in NYC, but honestly, I'm that shattered. And last night when I tried to make loads of effort for dinner and like make myself look a certain way and whatever, like, like I said to you guys, it was just an absolute fail. So I feel like I've just gone for more casual in the hopes that I don't know, I won't feel like I've tried to make an effort and then it's not worked. So anyway, I'm gonna head out the door now and go and get some nice Italian food. Hello everyone. So it's been actually a minute since I updated this vlog. For some reason, as you all know by now, because you'll have seen it before this one, I actually decided to do two New York vlogs. And I've the last couple of days I've been doing my other New York vlog, which I think by now you will have seen, but I'm back on this one now and I wanted to just update you all. Um, the last couple of days, we again, just killing time really, um, but then last night we had a meal with PLT, which was actually so much fun. We had such a good night. I used a new glam squad. They're gonna be arriving in about 10 minutes actually to do my glam for this evening because tonight we have the fashion show the whole reason why we've stayed out here in new york for so long is because of tonight so obviously at the start of the week shot my campaign for plt which was amazing and then the reason why we couldn't go home after that was because of the naomi campbell plt fashion show which was actually the main reason why we came out here i think we've already explained all this but we fitted the shoot in as well um so yeah, tonight's the fashion show. I'm so excited. And I was actually just looking down at my eczema and looking at how flared up it is. Honestly, like my eczema is the worst it's been in a long time at the minute. And I have no idea why. When I get home, I really need to get myself some good products and try and get rid of it. Cause I don't know if you guys can see, but I think cause I'm scratching it so much. Like it, you can see where there's like a big patch of white where the skin is just broken and not good. Anyway, I've just had a face gym appointment which was so, so good. It was so needed because my skin, I actually got them to not only do like the sculpting massage they normally do, but I got them to like clean my skin out as well because it was so clogged up and congested and I started to break out quite a bit um, on my forehead. So I had a facial appointment that was absolutely lovely. And yeah, now the glam squad are gonna come. I'm really excited because I absolutely loved my glam last night and I was really nervous for it. Um, Cause obviously, as you guys know, I only ever use the same glam squad always. I never really try anyone else. Um, but obviously, cause they're not here, they had to go home. I had to find a new glam squad whilst I'm out here, but they were so good. I was so, so pleased. Um, so they're coming in a minute. I need to shower, wash my hair, sort myself out. And I will do my best to bring you guys along with me this evening to the fashion show. I'm really excited, a little bit nervous just because I don't know, it's like a really big event. I feel like there's gonna be so many people there. We actually just stopped at a little ice cream van. The diet on this trip has been somewhat appalling. Like we really, really kidded ourselves. I knew, I, I'm, as we were saying it before we came here, I knew we were just talking absolute rubbish, but we'd fully thought we were gonna try and eat healthy out here. And we fully all bought our gym, our gym trainers, <laughs> our gym trainers to train. I bought my gym clothes. I bought like three sets of gym clothes. Um, sports bras, my gym shoes. Have we even so much as seen the gym this trip? Yes, once, but that was on the way to the spa to get a massage. So that sums it up really, doesn't it? Right guys, a little bit of stressful four hours. Would you say four hours guys? Yeah. yeah. We did start glam, glam four hours ago. <laughs> and don't ask me how we were actually ready because it was touch and go. Um, but the hair is up. It kind of looks similar to the hair I had yesterday, to be fair. It's just like a little bit higher up on the top of the head. Um, when I get out of the car, I will show you my outfit. It's designed by PLT. I don't even know what you'd call this. It's like, um, they made me like a bespoke suit for this show. And it's going to be going on sale in... Three weeks? Three weeks. Um, so you guys will be able to shop this outfit really soon. But it is honestly unreal. I put it on the other day and Zoe literally had drawers on the floor. She was like, I need that suit. It's so nice. It's quarter to eight, the show starts at eight, so pray for us. Uh, but I'm so excited for tonight, it's gonna be such a good evening. joining you from phone cam i just gave you a little flash of my nails there remind me 
to never try something new with my nails again not my nail text fault at all because i told her i wanted this but by ab i just my nail i can't do it like i'm such a nail biter and i'm such a picker that if it's not acrylic i just can't hack it but anyway sorry random interlude there i just want to top on it's been a while since this vlog was filmed new york was like a while ago now and i need to be really honest with you guys i feel like oh well i've missed you all for one i've like i i where do i even begin i don't know the last few weeks i don't even know how to describe it really like i feel like i've been just been going through it mentally i don't know honestly i feel like you guys probably can't keep up with me because honestly i am so up and down all the time like sometimes i come on my vlogs or my videos and i'm like i'm in such a good place i'm so happy and then sometimes i'll come on and be like i'm just not feeling myself like i'm all over the place but like i don't know maybe that's just being a human like i feel like you know some days are you know it can, it can just be up and down sometimes and i feel like the last couple of weeks like the only way i can describe it is in in my head i feel like i've just fallen off like i've literally fallen off the hell off like the wagon the road it all i've just fallen off and yeah i don't know i don't know how to explain it or describe it like i've not been taking pictures i've not been filming anything i've not been i've been doing a lot but i've not i don't know like i can't even explain it maybe we'll have a like hopefully we'll have a really good catch up soon I'm just missing tommy so much now like it, you know it's been like a really long camp and yeah things have just been a little bit meh recently i'm in london currently i'm back home tomorrow i've only been here for one night but i'm here for something like so insanely exciting that i won't be able to speak about for like a really long time which is so boring and i'm not even going to allude to it because it's like that much of a secret thing that i and so far away that i can't even begin to talk about it yet so like whatever like forget i even mentioned anything like forget i even mentioned anything at all oh god i just dropped my phone that's a good time for me to say goodbye if you made it to the end of this video i love you millions sorry for this really random outro <laughs> what is wrong with me i love you all millions and hopefully i will see you all in my next video bye guys